Hi everyone, so we're starting our weekly off on a bit of a sad note today because we have just got to the emergency vets for Corrin Bun because something's not quite right with him. We think he's either got a, I don't, maybe like a UTI or water infection or like a kidney infection or something but he's just not himself, he's swollen up a little bit around his tummy and he's lost quite a lot of weight at the same time so we're a little bit concerned. Um, Rianne very luckily got an emergency appointment this morning even though there are no appointments till Monday so we are here bright and early before the shop opens so we can make sure he gets seen too. We are back from the vets um it's not really good news we thought he had some kind of urine infection but now it's actually I think he's like constipated but quite severely he hasn't been to the toilet in quite a while i can't believe i didn't notice like i just feel like the worst pet mum for not realizing that but she the vet didn't really know what was wrong or what caused it it could have been something he ate or it could be like a twisted bowel i feel so bad for him so he's on loads of different medicines now that i've had to write an entire schedule for because it's very intense he's on these three medicines and then a probiotic as well and then we have to give them at certain times of the day so this is every eight hours this is once a day this is twice a day and this is five times a day so the vet showed us how to do the first one and then i've got couple more to do today before I head out. She said the next 24, 48 hours are really crucial and if he doesn't make an improvement in that time then it's bad news. So I'm just hoping for the best, trying to keep positive. I'm going to work from the kitchen today which is where he lives so I can just keep an eye on him and make sure he's okay but I feel bad that I'm going to have to wake him up so much to give him this medicine because I think he just wants to rest. Um, he's lost so much weight and I think that's obviously because he couldn't eat anymore. So I'm really hoping this helped. Never had a ham this happen to a hamster before. I've had hamsters pretty much my entire life and this has never happened. So I feel a bit useless. He doesn't seem to be in pain because like we can still hold him and he's not biting or like he still seems okay. But you can obviously tell that he's uncomfortable. Um, this is not the start to the weekly that I was expecting. <laughs> Well, that is takeaway i'm sorry i haven't vlogged much today guys um i haven't been in the right head space with the little bear having to administer him medicine has just been really stressful and not very nice but um i'm with g now i've left him in the capable hands of my housemates and we have just decided to order a chinese takeaway i haven't had a chinese in ages can't even remember the last time i had a chinese takeaway so i'm very much looking for, forward to dipping some spring rolls and some curry sauce <sighs> we're also finishing seven year switch the last episode which is cool we're being awful and eating this on the floor as well it's so cute but get you always get a little bowl it doesn't look like 10 to that me. doesn't look like 10 that does not look like 10 that looks like six. Oh. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I am wearing braces and a tie. I've also got a hat and a fake cigar because I am taking G to an immersive theater lunch experience today for a secret date, which I've had booked for like a couple of months now, a good while. Um, and we have to dress up as either flappers or gangsters and I was like I don't have a flapper dress but I do have a suit so I'm going as a gangster and I love the masculine trend so yeah that's what we're doing today like a lunchtime experience it was super expensive I'll leave a link to it down below but it's called the lost love speakeasy but yeah it should be fun I have to get on the train like this now but it should be a good day. Current bun is going back to the vet today at three o'clock. I'm gonna be in the experience at that point, but my housemate is taking him, um, so fingers crossed, he will be okay. I love you, little one. I love you so much. Just got to G's, we've picked up a tiny bit of lunch, got a soy latte, I didn't have a reusable cup with me so I have had to get a disposable one, also got a chocolate twist which I'm looking forward to. In my outfit, I've got a little hat with a little feather, 
um, my braces, which I'm loving. My boobs look massive with a brace. Bloody hell. Um, and then little shoes. Got my cigar in my pocket. G looks super cute. Here he is. Love this pocket watch. <laughs> what time is it? Quarter past seven. <laughs> I love this little bow tie and also the braces. We need to wear braces more often. Right, I reckon we'll leave here and we'll start seeing people also dressed like us. And it'll be really weird, yeah? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> 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 Hello. having a little bit of a Eurovision party with my housemate and her friends. I'm just making some snacks and I put pizza in the oven, got all the breadsticks and stuff and all the dips as well. Yeah. Bloody obsessed with this dip. Thai edamame. Oh, it's so good. And it's vegan. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, everyone's got a drink for this. Bloody hell. <laughs> drink. Sunday, the birds are singing. Oh, well, I don't know when to tell them. Basically, current bum got put down yesterday and I haven't been wanting to say it because it's sad. Um, I still, I don't really want to talk about it very much. Um, but yeah, if you watch my vlogs then you'll, you'll have seen that he's been a big part of our family life the past nine months. And he's, there's, yeah, there's gonna be a definite hole at home now. Um, but yeah, we've decided to come for brunch. Um, I built my own breakfast with miso mushrooms, sausage, and scrambled egg and sourdough. Yours looks really good, colourful. Come to one of our favourite little. Um, I don't even know what you'd call this. It. Like a, it's called a local store, but they've got vinyls and Pac-Man in here. We're just lolling at this because we were playing the Jesus Christ Superstar soundtrack when we were driving through Tuscany on holiday. We've also got refillable washing up liquid so you don't have to like waste plastic, which is nice. And loads of quirky food. Vegan cheese, all the vegan cheese. I've decided to make, wait. <laughs> I've decided to bake today because I haven't, I actually don't think I've baked since being in this house before. Apart from we made cupcakes once, didn't we? Oh yeah. That was fun. Um, but I have some really overripe bananas which are practically nearly black. So I'm gonna make banana bread, bloody love banana bread. I'm gonna make a vegan, vegan one which I haven't done before but it doesn't look too hard. It's just without eggs and with some like milk or tempt instead. So I've mashed my bananas and then measure out all my ingredients. What have you done wrong? I've added triple the amount of sugar I was supposed to. Maybe I should add another banana in to make up for it. Dripping. And then just a little bit more sugar. <laughs> Still gotta be delicious. I've added the flour on the board because I wasn't supposed to put it in yet and I accidentally wet measured it. So it's all going great. Oil. Oil. Can I be your cameraman? Yeah, that would be really helpful. Oil, 113 grams. That's a, that sounds like an awful lot, doesn't it? This is the before. It's a little bit wobbly. I don't think it's the right consistency, but hopefully it will taste delicious. Just watched an episode, second episode of the OA. So excited to watch series two, but G hasn't watched series one yet, so we're, we're watching from the beginning. Um, but banana bread. We haven't tried yet, but, because I think I added too much, oh no. Collapsed. Is it still edible? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I've been having a bit of a declutter. Um, I'm being, trying to be ruthless because I really want to streamline. I know I say this all the time, 
it's an ongoing process. Um, I'm getting rid of so many pairs of shoes that I haven't worn in ages, but I'm just saying goodbye to them. I'm asking Jeff what he thinks and he's helping me as well. Getting rid of some fake Converse, some ballet flats, some heels, more heels. Thinking of getting rid of these trainers. If I wear them in the next week, I'll keep them. If I don't, then they're going. I'm gonna get rid of these as well. I just misplaced my vlog ca camera all evening. Um, we're gonna go to bed now, but we'll see you tomorrow. It's Monday. I've got quiche in the oven for lunch. <laughs> I've deleted Twitter and um, Facebook from, from my phone today because it's the final ever Game of Thrones went up last night and I haven't watched it yet and I'm not going to be able to watch it until like 10 p.m. Um, wait, let me just check my quiche. I have a feeling I've burnt it. Let's hope not. No, that's looking good. I've had a really productive day so far. Woke up really early, edited a couple of videos, filmed my current makeup routine, which I've been doing for so long now. It's this. It'll be up on my channel on Sunday. I think now I'm gonna import some footage and start editing, take it easy. I also need to pack a bag because I'm staying at G's tonight. We have a swing dance class double date. We made some friends on our swing dance course that we were going to earlier this year. And so today we're going on a double date with them to a swing dance place in Covent Garden. So it should be really nice. We haven't seen them in a while, but we're very excited to have made some friends. <laughs> we're so lame. So got that. And then tomorrow I think I'm gonna work at Gleam. So I've got to pack like an overnight bag and then like my laptop and stuff. I haven't been, I haven't worked from Gleam in ages. So it should be nice to see my managers. Just cutting up some broccoli for my lunch. I'm gonna have it with my quiche and some salad. Here it is, broccoli, salad, quiche. We've come for a bite to eat. She is taking me to a restaurant called Jidori, which is like a Japanese sharing thing. Look at this, katsu scotch egg and veggie tempura. Round two, we have aubergine, wings and rice. like a migraine I've taken pills um I had such a nice night dancing with our new mates dance with some other people as well which was quite interesting then we came home and watched Game of Thrones the last episode how disappointing I'll see you tomorrow I'm at Gleam with this little boy <laughs> oh you're a vlogger in the making how adorable Quick outfit of the day. I'm wearing this little play suit that I got from Monkey last year with a t-shirt kind of wrapped up and some trainers and a headband. There is so much choice of what to eat for lunch around Gleam. Um, I never know what to get. Not very good. <laughs> 
Found a little sandwich shop. Got a chicken and coleslaw sandwich. <laughs> Such riveting content. Well, the leg, the hands up. I have been keeping a little bit of a secret recently and that I think that might be the reason why the vlogs have been a little bit sporadic because I've also been filming for something separately which will be coming up on my channel soon. A little bit of a secret I will tell you about in my next weekly vlog. But I hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you next week.